All right, guys, I just finished filming my first video and I started thinking about it and figured I would film my second video. So this video is going to be about the Unify uh, power redundancy proprietary platform that they've, that they've come up with uh, that's showing up on the uh, early access store. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of confused by it because it seems that um, you know, and, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, that's fine. But, you know, my little rant here is it seems that they're getting rid of the hot swappable power supply idea and instead going with this different power solution that kind of confuses me in every way. And if they are getting rid of the hot swappable power supply um, method, then it raises a lot of questions to me. And if they're not, then great. Maybe I missed something, but it seems to me that this new way is a built-in power supply. So you just plug in your standard cable into the switch. That's all great. Um, and then you have this weird lots of pins connector over on the other end to which you plug that into a rack-mounted power supply box that you know it takes up more rack space it doesn't provide a ton of power it's 900 watts which eh, it's a bit but you know it really depends on how you're using your switches and it's not it also doesn't just power switches it powers other uh stuff too so especially across six different devices 900 watts doesn't seem like a whole lot of power to me um so that's where i'm kind of confused and then it, if you think about the consequences of not going with a hot swappable solution, um, say for example, you've got a 48 port switch, it's fully populated and the internal power supply blows. Well, great. You're covered because you've got that redundant power supply system. Excellent. You, you didn't go down. You can now go ahead and schedule some downtime to bring the network down and take care of that problem. However, that problem isn't as simple as going slide out power supply, place that over there, grab new one, slide in new one, done. As it is with anything that has a hot swappable power supply, the issue this creates is now you have a 48 port switch with 48 cables in there, if it's fully populated, that you now have to label every single one to where it goes, depending on your use case scenario, obviously. but there are many scenarios where you do need to label where each one goes. You know, for example, if you have every port tagged to a different VLAN or, you know, even some of them are tagged to different VLANs or whatever, you really want to make sure, you absolutely want to make sure that every single port is plugged right back into where it was. And now you've increased the load on the support department, the IT department, because now we've got to go through, label every single one of those cables, unplug them, pull the switch out of the rack, get a new switch, put a new switch in, plug back in all the cables, and then, you know, after that, it's, you know, adopt it, and then you're pretty much off to the races at that point. I don't know. Am I crazy? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if this is just a another solution that they're coming up with, or if this is where they're going instead of the hot swappable idea, which obviously per my opinion is a much better idea and they can obviously do it since they're doing it and if there's a reason they're not doing it tell me tell me what the reason is i'm curious to know like why would you not go that direction um anyways let me know uh this has been james again and uh if you like this rant give me a thumbs up if you didn't like it thumbs down that works too uh if you do like it please subscribe hit the bell icon to get notified when i rant again and um, I'll try to bring you guys more content. Thanks for being there.